this is Nyx, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are here about to talk to Captain Silene, because I actually ranked up twice in between episodes, and I'm about to get my sixth star. Star number six. We're getting really close to being completely full up on stars here. What is this going to give us? Okay, good. Ultra Balls. That'll be useful. Up to level 80. <laughs> That's a bit high for what I have right now. And then I guess we'll get the Ultra Ball recipe and Max Potions. Not bad. Yes, our, our Pokemon are nowhere near level 80. I think the 30s is the highest that we've gone. Also, in between episodes, I had my first Pokemon outbreak and found... Something a little shiny. I found this Krikatot on my way to the outbreak, and then in the outbreak, I got myself a shiny Eevee. They seem to be getting along pretty well too. <laughs> Definitely wish I had been recording during that. But they're so cute. I gotta figure out what to evolve Eevee into. Alright, but f yes, you guys are making a lot of noise. Hello. So you can come back into my Pokeballs. I think we're good to go to the Crimson Mirelands, finally. Ah, here we are. The burnt out campfire. It's definitely a campfire. Burnt out campfire. Somebody must have been here. But who? Is it the misfortunes? Now who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. Oh, hello. There's only one reason people go poking around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Before we show this poor fool how wrong she was to assume, assume she could ever be us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. <laughs> well, these are interesting characters. We're the infamous bandit trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. Let me handle this, sisters. I'll only hurt her a little. Come on, Toxicroak. Let's douse this fool in poison. I believe I have Kadabra out. No, I do not. I swapped to Mime Jr. Sorry, Mime Jr. Let's go with Kadabra. Because the rest of my team is nowhere near close enough for these guys. Alright. Kadabra doesn't have very strong moves either. Good confusion. I am definitely gonna have to evolve this, but I need to find more satchels to get a link cable. Thankfully, that was not too difficult. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. Hey, I don't plow fields. Is that what you're implying? Six levels! Well, Cricket Tot's ready to evolve. Huh. The galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Oh, did you used to plow fields? Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. That was easy. Alright. I guess we gotta go return this now. The weird writing on it made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. But it turned out to be worthless a worthless slap of junk. Heh, <sighs> all that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? Uh, I want to help Ursa Luna. Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinkable kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with the galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, 
spirits lashed by uncertainty. Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. Well, they seem like a nice bunch. Guess we gotta go return this tablet now. Hello, Volo, we have the tablet. Good work, very good work indeed, Nyx. You got the fragment back, safe and sound. I'm well aware of Kabbalah's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has, ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think that it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyways, I do hope you'll be able to calm Ursa Luna's frenzy, Nyx. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Alright, Volo. We'll do our best. Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. Uh, well, I got your wall fragment back. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to calm Ursa Luna. Hmm. That's right. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursa Luna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. And there we go, good as new. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. Let me read what it says. I just read it. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. Fra fragment? Ah, can't speak. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance. Sure, if that gets me what I want, we'll say that's what it is. <laughs> what is your name then, girl? I see. Nyx. Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursa Luna. It's true that Ursa Luna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursa Luna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. I believe I've been there before, so... Let's head on out there. Over here, Nyx. Ursa Luna is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Is this the one time he's going to fail to show up? <laughs> oh no, I think he's showing up. Oh boy. That is not what I expected. Now, show your medal to Ursa Luna, but remember that Ursa Luna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not per permit you to catch him. Not allowed to catch him. Okay. What type is this Pokemon? Seems possibly that he's a... I'm getting, like, Steel-type vibes. Um... Well, Confusion seems fine. I would rather start with a uh, Hypnosis, make him drowsy. At least it hit. Last time we could not get that to work. He's level 26. Baby doll eyes. Well, thankfully the drowsiness worked. I'm actually going to check real quick. Um, poison type is not very effective and water is super effective. So maybe... and grass. Maybe he's a ground type? Possibly. That would make sense. Alright, let's get some confusions going then. Ooh, slash. Ouch! That hurt. My poor Kadabra. Oh, and he's not drowsy anymore. Hmm, well then. Uh, Cheruby? I don't know if you're gonna be able to hang in here, but... <laughs> I guess we'll go with some absorbs. Let's see how much damage this does. Not as much as I would like. Man, that slash attack. 
I'm starting to think I'm probably, maybe, possibly should have changed my Pokemon. Weasel, you're up. Alright, so we have Aqua Jet and Water Pulse. Water Pulse never misses. Aqua Jet raises our action speed. So we can get two Aqua Jets off in one action. We're just chipping away at his health, it looks like. And hoping that we have enough revives to survive. <laughs> While Stunky is being attacked, I'm going to heal up Weasel. Weasel seemed to do the most damage. Um, if I do an Agile Style, that gives me an extra turn. And then we can do a Strong Style to finish it off. Perfect. Good job, Weasel. That was a tough battle, but we pulled through. Ursaluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you feel all better. Or let me make you all better. I hear, I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We'll call it Toxagon. Blech. I don't think it tastes very good. <laughs> It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. Ursaluna's much bigger than I expected. He wasn't really frenzied, was he? Very astute of you, Galaxy Team recruit. I have a name. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleaver's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Arezu. Now why did she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Ursaluna opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. We got the Earth Plate, so he is a ground type. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say that he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Let's see. If I call Ursaluna... There's some treasure over this way. Where is it? Right there. What'd we get? Old verse 9. Um, it's a poem. Interesting. Not the treasure I was expecting, but I guess, yeah, we, we got some good treasure. Um, I would like a little bit faster of a Pokemon. I see the Distortion Rift up there, and I cannot... Can I pick this up? There. I cannot resist checking it out, despite the fact that my Pokemon are in no state to be going over there. Oh, that Budu is invisible! What happens if I try to catch it? Oh. Well, I guess I can still catch it. <laughs> Oops, that didn't work. That one went invisible too. I've got myself some invisible buddies. Oh, only one. Oh, he's visible again. Oh, no, he's not. There, I've got two invisible buddies now. Oh, I think the distortion might be sh about to show up. Woo! Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay. 
Now usually my plans for this is just hop on this guy and smash the A button. Pick up everything I can find. I hope we've gotten some of the stones. Oops, there's a Flareon. I don't have a Flareon yet. Okay, let me battle this Flareon. Alright, uh, let me get somewhere where I can see. Oops, I didn't realize the Floatzel was joining us. Level 30. Ooh, this might not be a good battle. Um... Let's start off with Stunky. Poison the Floatzel. I don't want to poison Flareon because I don't want to accidentally kill it. I'm trying to catch this thing. But we need to get rid of this Floatzel first. Oh, that Aqua Jet hurts. But the poison hurts too. Venoshock should actually do more because of the poison. Perfect. Now we can just focus on Flareon. Venoshock, that's not going to do much for you. Interesting that a nose mimic, though. Alright, let's go with Acid Spray and see how much that does. Not much, but that is perfect. We'll do a strong Acid Spray because I feel like we're going to faint this next turn. See, I don't see much of a difference at all. Maybe if I raise my attack or something, I'll see more of a difference. Flamethrower. That's what I was expecting. Alright, um... Weasel, you're up. Let's just go with a small Aqua Jet, please. Nothing too strong. Ooh, that's just about perfect. Good job, Weasel. Um, what kind of Pokeball? Um, I'll use a Great Ball. I need to make some Ultra Balls now, too, now that I can. Come on, stay in the ball. Nope. <sighs> okay, I might go with one of the Heavy Balls. Wrong button. Alright, maybe a Leaden Ball? Let's see if we can catch it in a leaden ball. Come on. I need a Flareon. Perfect. Now I'm going to need to heal all of my Pokemon very quickly. Everyone's so angry in this little distortion rift. Granted, I'm sure they just got, like, pulled out of wherever they usually live, and that's got to be disorientating. Um... Not seeing anything else around here that I want. So we got a couple evolution stones. Dust stone, which I have a Murkrow I can use that on. And a leaf stone. I was really hoping for a shiny stone, but I guess we'll have to wait for another one. Anyways, let's go back to town. Oh, I've got something stuck to me. It's, um, an unknown. What was that Pokemon? Or was that a Pokemon? Come to think of it, Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of the Selosian ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon we saw just saw as a species with multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Nyx. Oh, looks like we can go and find all the unknowns. Unknown notes were added to your Pokedex. What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in this section I've just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Interesting. Hello, Ray. You're back. Get to the commander's office quick. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? <laughs> that sounded like I might be in trouble. What is this? Nix, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Liligant, our clan's Lady of the Ridge, is in a frenzy, and Arezu knowingly kept this from me. The a Liligant? Yes, there are only female Liligant, which makes this honored one our Lady of the Ridge. 
but this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what Arezu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilife Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Arezu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in this situation with the raging Ursaluna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? We would be forced to remain ne neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all, the work you've put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting. Suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene, intervene if trouble were to break out again. Nyx, perhaps you have some idea how we might address this situation? Uh, Ursaluna? Ursaluna. So he and the warden, Kalaba, found you worthy? That's perfect, then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Arezu when, wherever she's gone. If you are strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Liligant, Liligant's frenzy as well. I'll head to Liligant's seat then. Bravo Arena, it's called, if you'll excuse me. Listen well, Nyx. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Before I sign off, though, I'd like to see what happens when I show this guy a Silcoon. Have you brought a Silcoon to show me? I have indeed. Would you look at that? They're completely different. <laughs> ha, just as I thought. They're exactly the same. Uh, beer guard. Um, they're completely different colors. Now that you mention it, I guess they're not exactly two peas in a pod. I just never would have thought two Pokemon this similar could actually be different species. Pokemon really are curious creatures, huh? Kasku. Beautisha, my buddy. I didn't know the first thing about you, did I? I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. You're sure you're still happy to give a goof like me- or er, to have a goof like me for a partner? <laughs> Aww. Beautisha, you lovable rascal. You really are the only partner for me. This dynamic duo will stay together forever. But when is Beautisha gonna evolve? I love my buddy, no matter what it looks like, but its nickname needs changing, I guess. To rename one of your Pokemon, you just need to choose it from your party, right? Indeed. What are you gonna name Beautisha? Ah. <sighs> Alright, anyways. I guess that's sorted. He now knows his Beautisha will not become Beautifly. So we'll hopefully see when Beautisha evolves and what he's going to rename Beautisha to. Anyways, that's going to be all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.